Welcome to DerekWeaver.com. In this video, we're going to show the assembly of the upgraded W-PL240 assist arm. The first step in the assembly process is installing the top cap that goes on the tower. You have four 18 millimeter bolts with your slots going this direction. That's how it will be installed. And then your adjustment screw is going to be on the back side. So you just place this on top of the tower, line up your holes, and make them finger tight. The next piece to install is the collar. The notice the collar has a set screw on the right side if you're facing the machine and the back as you're facing the machine. And there's a notch that needs to face up. These set screws will correspond with flats on the top cap. And it simply slides on top and we'll adjust it shortly. I usually make it finger tight so it doesn't wobble. And put the groove to the front. This is a top view of the, of the collar and the top cap installed. This is your adjustment screw. These are your 18 millimeter bolts to hold it in place. Your two set screws, one here and one here. And this is your locating notch. And next we'll install the arm itself. Now we install the arm itself. It just slides onto the pin like so. As it is right now, the locating pin is in that groove, so it'll just have minimal movement. It's important to note before you put the arm on the machine, this rod should be installed and the control panel when the machine comes to you will be unbolted so it doesn't get damaged. It must be bolted so it doesn't get damaged when you put it on. And we'll continue with the next step. Now we'll connect air to the assist arm. When you receive the machine, you'll receive a Y fitting with a short piece of hose attached to it. One end of the Y is going to receive the line from the assist arm. We'll set that here. And then we'll remove the line from the 90 degree on the end of the regulator assembly. We'll take that line and stick it into the empty on the Y fitting and then the remaining line will go into the 90 degree fitting on the regulator. So now this supplies both air and oil to your assist arm cylinder. Now we're going to connect the air feed from the valve to the 90 degree fitting on the machine or on the cylinder rather. Now we're going to level and adjust the assist arm. So we use the, the long centering cone and you'll use this U-shaped piece to keep it in place. And there's a hole in this shaft and also a corresponding hole in this receiver. What I do is, is I lower the centering cone and we're trying to center this cone to the center of the table so we'll move the table, we'll move the assist arm forward a little bit. So that's centered and and then on this side we'll adjust the leveling screw to make it level and it's pretty close as it is. So as it is right now we'll put a little bit of tension on it like so and at this point we'll tighten our four 18 millimeter bolts and then we'll show you what it looks like. Okay, so now we have the, the assist arm level and we have it centered. So we have it where we want it horizontally speaking, speaking and vertically speaking. So we're gonna, we're gonna tighten these set screws so they're snug to, to maintain that setting and they tighten against the flat. And that'll keep, keep it where it is. So when it's in its locked position, it's where it's supposed to be. And then you'll tighten the 
jam nuts on these set screws with a 19 millimeter wrench and then we'll use an 8 millimeter to tighten the collar in place so that that adjusts the assist arm so now it's level and it's centered and it's fixed in place because we've tightened all of the hardware on the collar now we're going to use some blocks of wood to block the assist arm with air pressure and we'll take this pin off and I'll show you how the arms go attached but I'm not going to do it because it's quite challenging by yourself so this is what the assembly looks like before you attach it and I'm not even going to attempt it here but what you're going to do is is hold this up and you're going to thread that pin back into the threaded hole that it came out of like I said it's difficult to do by yourself and notice before you do that you have to hold this pin out because there's some notches over here that it attaches to so we'll stop the camera and we'll attach it and then show you what it looks like when it's completed so this is after we've installed the arms this is the shaft that you tighten to keep the arms in place this is the spring-loaded pin I was talking about you have a couple of locked positions or actually three locked positions that you can lock that arm in place and then both rollers are adjustable and you can lock them in place as well the last thing that we do as far as the assist arm is concerned is put the the bolt that holds the assist arm on the shaft we do that last in the event we have to take it off take the assist arm off and it takes a 10 millimeter allen head and just snug it up and then you have a disc that has to be assembled it's a shaft the shaft goes through the center of the disc this is a lifting disc and then you have a, a bolt and washer that goes in the end of it and you tighten that like so and then we have to put the tool holder on the back of the machine we'll show you how to do that as well so to attach the the tool holder I always take the Allen hat out that's closest to me and you have two holes here and here I start this hole first and the reason I do it this way is that valve will move out of the way and remove both the Allen heads at the same time so I start one remove and start the second one make them finger tight and then you can tighten them with an allen head wrench and just to give you an idea your tools your tools set in here like so so you have a place to store them out of the way Thank you for choosing DerekWeaver.com for all of your automotive equipment needs.